and the methods they used you think were appropriate. Is that when what they you're met saying? resistance, yes. They announced three times they didn't move. By the way, there was no tear gas used. The tear gas was used Sunday when they had to clear 8th Street to allow the fire department to come in to save St. John's Church. That's when tear gas was used. There were it, chemical irritants, the part. No, there were not chemical said. irritants. Pepper spray is not a chemical irritant. It's not chemical. Pepper spray, you're saying, pepper is what balls, was used. Pepper balls. Right. And you believe that was appropriate. What I want to show you is what a lot of people at home who were watching this on television saw and their perception of events. I want you to see what the public at home saw. President of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. But in recent days, our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists, violent mobs, arsonists, looters, criminals, rioters, Antifa, and others. A number of state and local governments. So while the president is saying that he appreciates peaceful protests, around the same time, well, six minutes, six minutes difference. Right. Right. Yeah. Around the same time, the area is being cleared of what appear to be peaceful protesters using some force. And after the speech is finished, the president then walks out of the White House to the same area where the protesters had been and stands for a photo op in front of the church where the protesters had been. These events look very connected to people at home. In an environment where the broader debate is about heavy-handed use of force and law enforcement, was that the right message for Americans to be receiving? Well, the message is sometimes communicated by the media. I didn't see any uh, video being played on the media of what was happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But, all, but I, this all, I heard was, all I heard was comments about how peaceful the protesters were. I didn't hear about the fact that there were 150 law enforcement officers injured and many taken to the hospital with concussions. Uh, so uh, it wasn't a peaceful protest. We had to get control over Lafayette Park, and we had to do it as, as soon as we were able to do that. But you understand how these events appear connected. The well, it's the job of the media to tell the truth. They were not Well, this connected. is what I'm asking you. Did you know when you gave the green light for these actions to be taken that the president was going to be going to that very same area for a photo op? I gave the green light at 2 o'clock. Obviously, I didn't know that the president was going to be speaking later that day. You had no idea? No. No, I do not. Do 